So today, ElectroPages is here at Munich 2022 Electronica, and we are currently at the High Lind booth. And today, I am joined by Grzegorz Wyszczas, Managing Director, Heading Electronics Europe. Thank you for having me. Thank and you. And I would like to start by asking about the new center that you have been constructing in Poland. Is that correct? Yes, the true in Poland. We just opened up a new distribution center. Mm -hmm. So that's our second warehouse we have here in Europe. Mm -hmm. And just that's the beginning because we want to decentralize our logistics to be closer to our customers. Mm -hmm. So in near future, we would like to have even four of those warehouses. They are serving specific regional areas, which means right closer to customers and having the goods they need. So does that mean that you've got one large distribution center and then smaller ones that are sort of spanned off from that? Yes, yes, this would be, this would be the best description. So Poland is our distribution center right yeah. now and feeding the rest of the warehouses. And, and, and in our conversation earlier on, or earlier on I think we were saying that um, your specialty is more Eastern European in terms of the countries that you're serving. Yes, that's true. Even though we open up in uh, Germany. Yep. Oh, yes, Germany as well, of course. Yeah. So, so that's, that was our first headquarter. Mm -hmm. Then, following our customers' demand, mm -hmm. we ran into the Eastern European countries. So, starting from Poland, Czech, Hungary, Romania, and everything what is close to them. And right now, we are developing mainly there. However, again, as we started in Germany, mm -hmm. we are getting stronger and stronger mm -hmm. because uh, our strengths are servicing industrial part of customers right. and military and aero business. So that's our core business in Germany mainly. So Central Eastern Europe is industrial, but here in Germany and Dach, Austria, Switzerland, that's our mill aero as well. Ah, oh, interesting. Um, so there was one thing that we also talked earlier on about, which was the fact that your distribution centers allow customers to come to the center. Yes, that's what we want to do. So that's going to be centered not only for logistics, but also for our customers. Mm. We want to have there like our technical centers, innovation yeah. centers, so customer can touch the product. They can bring their engineers. We will have some special showrooms. So from our top franchise partners, you will be able to touch to talk to their representatives, mm. having engineers talking to engineers. And also, if you want to grab some samples, they will be right away. And that means that engineers don't have to wait a long time to receive samples from companies around the world? No, you can just simply take your bag, come to <laughs> us. Just fill the whole thing up. Exactly. <laughs> if the connector you want to try is available, yeah. we'll make it for you. That's brilliant. Um, now, there was one, one other thing I wanted to talk about, which was the situation with COVID and how that affected your company and how you responded to that. I would, terms of logistics, so. I would have to say that the uh, COVID gave all of us in the industry a good lesson. Mm. So right now, that's why we want to increase numbers, like I said before, of the warehouses being close to our customers. Yeah. So even if there is a production shutdown, so critical problem, we can just pack goods into our car and deliver within a few hours. Yes. So that's the change we want to say, because there isn't saying that we right now we having a new global. Yes. Mm, so of course. we, I think we done our homework well and we want to continue. Brilliant. And there was one other thing I heard uh, outside in the booth, and I believe a delivery time was mentioned, but could you tell the, the viewers out there what, what delivery times that you're aiming for in terms of the um, an engineer basically places an order? I think you were saying about one day, was it? Yes, that's our goal. One so, day. Same day. Same day it should be. Then depending, of course, of the country, because we have Romania as yes, customers, we have Italy customers, yeah. so there is still few days, however, the shorter the better. And again, yeah. in near future, so I'm talking only about few years, we want to be also having our distribution centers, warehouses there, so the same kind of service can be provided if necessary. So right now, Polish customers have the opportunity to get some parts same day. Yes. That's brilliant, that's absolutely brilliant. So one question I have about the, uh, the franchise manufacturers that you work with, could you give us an idea of who it is that you, you partner up with? Yes, in Highland you will find the biggest and greatest names, mm -hmm. such as uh, T Connectivity, oh, yes, Molex, mm. Amphenol, many divisions as we know Amphenol, and from the, for example, Fasteners, Pen Engineering or Stanley, so really well-known brands. Yes, oh, right. yes, yeah. that's true. Like I said at the beginning, in the United States we have many companies, brands, here in Europe because we are fresh, we don't want to make problems with recognition to our customers, so mm. we put them under one umbrella, under Highland Europe umbrella, so you will find here really the best brands of electromechanics as well as the customers. Interesting. So in terms of the next five, 10 years, what is it that your company is looking to do? First of all, 
to be really solid in the Central Eastern Europe yep. region. But of course, then we are going more into the West. So, right. so we are not finished with CE, but also in the upcoming years, more like one, two years, going more to the Western countries. So then again, following our customers' requests, especially from military, but also industrial side of it, yep. to be in countries such UK, France, or Spain. So to have a complete European footprint, yes, that's our goal. Interesting. Um, and one more question before we end the interview. Um, I was going to ask, actually, in terms of, you mentioned uh, military and, 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 uh, and energy sort of uh, applications. Does that also include things like automotive and EVs? Automotive, some of it. Mm. EVs is the same because there, some of the certifications are very special and we are not mm -hmm. there yet. We have those certificates on Milareo again because that's our uh, bread and butter. So yeah. there we have the biggest standards uh, requirements completed. Yeah. So I would say automotive, some of them, yes. Fantastic. Well, thank you ever so much for taking the time here today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.